What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of The Tuesday Show brought to you by Blue Light Media. My name's Mikhail, and this is Nelson. Um, today, I'm really pumped because we have a beverage. Oh, I, no, before we get to that, okay. I want to say congratulations. Uh -oh. Mick uh, popped the question over the weekend, and uh, super, super proud of you, man. Yeah, Nelson said yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> See this bottle? <laughs> <laughs> this bottle. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, yes, the rumors are true. I did get engaged and I'm pretty pumped on that, actually. Um, actually recovering from a, a little bit of jet lag while we do this show. But as we get into it today, we wanted to bring on Kavita Kombucha. Kombucha. Um, are you a fan of kombucha? Uh, here and there. I, I, you introduced me to it more, yeah. more than... I, I want to try the beer. I still haven't tried the kombucha, kombucha beer. Kombucha beers. We should have brought the beer. But <laughs> filming this thing at 9.30 in the morning, we might get a little backlash yeah. on that. Um, but anyways, Kavita is great. They're a sparkling probiotic drink in, or a probiotic drink in kombucha company, which was founded in 2009 by Bill Moses and nutritionist Chakra Earthsun. And to date, they're still, they've actually grown their brand primarily through word of mouth. And today they're still uh, fermenting and bottling their drinks in Ventura County. So I'm super pumped. Should we give it a try? Yeah, let's do it. This is the pineapple and peach flavor. And so far, what I like about this company is that it doesn't spray all over the place. Because usually when we get kombucha, it just goes everywhere like champagne. Dude, it's really good. Yeah, this one's pretty good because I think this one is also with tea. Like it's not just... Oh, I can taste. I can taste yeah, it it's not just that. And by the way, this is 0 0.5 alcohol by value. Ah. Oh. Hell yeah. It's because it's fermented. <laughs> <laughs> the, so, the branding's really nice on the bottle. Yeah. Nice and bright. Their website was amazing too. So, I mean, they're already scoring points. There's, they get a lot of shelf space. This was actually right next to uh, Health Aid. And for whatever reason, I decided to pick this one up today. Um, we are a fan of Health Aid, but of course, I think they got a lot of love. So we wanted to make sure to bring out Kabita for this one. Definitely. Um, anyways, as far as the influencer dream team for this type of brand, Nelson, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking more the lines of, um, like travel, like travel influencers, maybe draw on the blank right now. Yeah. I mean, for us, when we were looking through, I didn't necessarily think that like a big macro influencer like yeah. we did last week with uh, Dale. <coughs> first sneeze, on, <laughs> the first sneeze on the Tuesday show. Um, with, with like Dale Earl, Earl, Earl Hart Jr. and some uh, and some other influencers, I didn't really think that that was the way to go with this one. Yeah. This one really has like a hometown vibe. Yeah. So like you said, with travel influencers, however, like micro ones. Yeah, you know micro, what I mean? really, really micro. Uh, maybe some startup like acoustic bands and things like yeah. that. You know, micro band bands, so I think is a good idea. Yeah, I think that those would be great because, you know, it definitely has like that like we said, a hometown brand. There's, there's definitely a lot of travel. It seems like something you want to bring on the outdoors. I mean, there's nothing I want more after like a night out or something like that than a probiotic drink, which is really yeah. weird, like a kombucha. So this is something that we're super pumped on. And really, as far as their imagery grows, goes, it's absolutely amazing. But of course, we have to run them through the uh, Heartline assessment. So first, Nelson, does the bio clearly uh, state what the product and business is? Yeah, sparkling probiotic drinks and kombuchas. Refreshing, refreshment that reventilates from within. And yeah. crafted with live probiotics. Tight. It's tight. Yeah, so they did a good job of saying exactly what it was. What about the Instagram story highlights? Are those used well? Definitely, definitely. It's really clear. I, I like the fact that there's only four. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't like to see more than like seven because then you get confused and lost. That's a good point, actually, because I've seen a lot with like a huge line of them and you're never going to like engage with it. It's like yep. overwhelming, yep. right? Yep. In fact, little side note, like when somebody like posts like 20 stories at once, I like get out of it because I, I it overwhelms yeah. me. Well, yeah, if you can't visually count the lines on top of the story bar, mm -hmm. then you automatically get overwhelmed. I feel like at least. All right. Um, what about number three, consistent content? Are they posting at least five times a week? They are not. Almost, but I can understand why they're not. Because these are really quite like high quality images, mm -hmm. so it may take a little bit more time, and it looks like they're selective on what they post. Yeah, so their content is amazing, but it, we personally like. I, I think that they still need to oh, post they, more. They do definitely. Yeah, especially for you know brands out there. If you're not you know utilizing a paid 
budget for like Facebook ads or Instagram ads, then you definitely need to post more often to make sure that you're taking advantage of as much organic reach as possible. Um, what about the 20 to 30 uh, rotated hashtags per post? Uh, no, it doesn't look like doesn't look like I see many hashtags on, on any of the, the posts. All right. That, that's kind of disappointing. Tagging location? Tagging location, no. Yeah. Um, I did see that they did tag Austin, Texas once, but yeah. and it was for South by Southwest. I actually thought that that was pretty interesting because they were at least taking advantage of uh, a location that would mean a lot during that time. Yeah, especially then, maybe they had a booth there or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So the, the plus side here is like, you know, they're super intentional about everything that they do. You can tell with the imagery, but yeah. like, I still personally believe that there should be. You know, you want to take advantage again. If you're not ha if you're not doing a lot of paid uh, paid media on this, you want to take advantage of as many like organic hacks as you possibly can. Uh, have they posted Instagram stories within the last twenty four hours? Uh, let me check. Yes. All right. What about engaging with their community in the comments? Um, oh yeah, definitely. 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 I saw that too. They were yeah, responding to like all of them. Yep. That That's was perfect. awesome. What about uh, consistent branded content? Oh, definitely. Yeah. De they crush it. This is the part that like we were super pumped on when we saw this is like, um, is the fact that again, everything's super intentional. It's so good. Even the stuff, I don't even, you can't even tell like the, the ones that might be user generated content, which might be the next uh, question. Like, or lifestyle content, R rather it looks like it was almost staged, but I have a feeling that might've been from their fans. Yeah, definitely, like this one? Yeah. It feels, yeah, it's definitely. That's See, that's awesome. that's awesome. All right, cool. And actually it looks like we were talking about influencers. That might actually be an influencer. Let's click on that real quick. Yeah, it might be a micro influencer that's doing that. Definitely so is because it's, um, she has her own hashtag. Okay, cool. So, so they were even, that's great that we're on the same page as the marketing team over there. Yep. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, um, what about a healthy mix of product and lifestyle content? Definitely. All right. Yeah, so good. And then lastly, are they incorporating video into their main feed? They are. Not not as much, but uh, the ones that they do incorporate are really awesome. All right, time. So it looks like after we put them through the Heartline assessment, they scored an overall seven out of 10, but it's like the strongest seven out of 10 yeah. <laughs> that we've ever seen. Do you have any final thoughts on uh, Kavita or any of their content? Uh, I think that if they utilize the tools a little bit more, I think the brand could be a little bit more successful on Instagram. But other than that, they're just crushing it. They're probably one of the best that we've reviewed so yeah, far. I love their account. It's really awesome. So to the team at Kavita, you're really crushing it on the content, on the management overall. We love it. We're big fans. Your website looked amazing. Um, and we're really pumped that, pumped that we brought you onto the show this week. Um, anything else you want to say to everybody on LinkedIn? Um, Check us out next week. Oh, if you have a brand that you want to check out, oh, want us to review or anything, just uh, submit it in the comments or DM and we'll check it out. Awesome. Review. Awesome. I love it. Um, to everybody, thank you so much for your time and your attention. We really appreciate it. Remember, no matter what you do, be sure to put your heart into it and we'll see you next week on the Tuesday show.